This looks like it's some sort of cichlid. Baby pleca right here, guys. Loach species, guys. Oh, no. Is there, are there snakes in here? What is this? Oh, we have filled an entire bucket with fish bags from the dumpster. Oh, dude, there is an octopus. He's in, he's in, he's in. Oh, that works. Welcome back to Rob Squads, guys. In today's video, we're back at another pet store dumpster to see if we could find any live animals or aquarium fish in the dumpster. What are you? Oh, yeah, there's like a pile of mess right there. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. So we're at another dumpster. I already looked in it a little bit, and I did see a couple of fish bags. So we're going to jump in here and see what kind of fish we could pull up. I'll turn on the GoPro so you guys can see everything I see. And I've got this flashlight in hand to make it a little bit easier to figure out what's what. So I'm going to just peek in real quick, turn the flashlight up. I'm not going to turn it up too crazy. Oh, I do see a couple fish bags off the top. Now they do match the bags that are already in here. There's a lot of big waste bags. And I do see some plecos in here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring the bucket in here this time around just because it'll make it a little bit easier on me to actually get this stuff sorted. So I'm going to jump in here and pop up this top lid right here so i have a little bit more space but i do see some fish in there already so i'm gonna put the bucket down and i'm just gonna get into the dumpster real quick is this alive well my gopro just died so i guess camera girl is gonna have to like do her best to get in there with me she's not gonna have to get into the dumpster per se but my gopro is not working and i don't know where the batteries are so i'm gonna jump into the dumpster and we'll see what it does oh god all right, I gotta be careful I don't step on any fish in here. I don't know exactly what's what or where's what because all I could really see is this fish. Up. Oh my God, I'm slipping. Oh, there's, oh no, <laughs> this, is, this is going bad. Let me see if I can flip this guy up. Oh. Damn, that was loud. But I see a couple fish bags in here already. I see some off the top right here and I brought the bucket in here. This box actually live fish on it. Move this out the way. Let's see here. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, there's a fish bag right here. There's a lot of rodent boxes, but what's this first fish we found in the dumpster? This looks like it's some sort of cichlid. What it is right now, I think it actually is probably like a convict cichlid or something of that nature. I'm just gonna open the bag up and get him into it real quick because I brought this white bucket with me. It's been a pretty decent day outside, so depending on when they've been thrown out. And I'm gonna throw that bag out there. But depending on when they've thro been thrown out, they might be doing just fine. Now that bag was a little dirty, the water's a little gross, but he should be fine. And I'm just gonna set this in here with me because I did also see some bags in here. I see. Oh my God. It's like hard to move around in here. I do see a big bag of dog food right here. So <laughs> I think we use this bag of dog food for our fish traps down the line. So there's that one day guys, we were in the dumpster and I found like tons and I mean tons of bags of dog food and I didn't end up keeping any of it, which was kind of a mistake, but I see another bag down here. What's in this? Oh, nice. It looks like a little baby pleca right here, guys. It's looking very, very small, but it doesn't look bad actually. It looks just fine. So what I might do is I'll get this guy out of the bag right here. And we're gonna keep working our way through the dumpster. I see a lot of bags in here. Beautiful little pleco. It looks like it's probably a common pleco, if I'm not mistaken. And I actually gotta get water. I wish I had like a little hanger or something so I could just clip this bucket onto the side of the dumpster or something. That would be really nice. And I really wish I had my GoPro batteries, but the GoPro batteries are nowhere to be found. But I'm gonna just put this bucket out here. When I find stuff, I could just pass it to camera girl. I'm gonna keep getting it. Oh, I see some more bags right here. Let's see. Oh my God, there is a lot of fish bags. This go around. I see like three or four we could get to. So I'll just get to this first one right here. Looks like some kind of loach species, guys. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's some wiry little aquarium fish. You know what, honestly, I'm gonna start just dump, dropping them into the bucket like that and just doing it that way because I see so many bags, we might as well just sort through it in a little bit. What is in here? Oh, <laughs> live harm, oh no, is there, are there snakes in here? There's a lot of like animal boxes in this one. Not so much anything else, but I see two bags sitting right here. What are you? Oh, it's some sort of like tetra right here. And this bag seems like it's a bag full of platy. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> Let's just move them along to the side over here. I'll gently, gently drop these in. But we're going to keep getting after it. There's a lot of boxes and stuff to sort through. This one is a live fish bag or box rather. It feels pretty light. I don't know if there's any fish in there. But we're going to keep working our way into the dumpster right here. And I see this right here. What are you? <sighs> oh. 
Oh, there's a couple of little smaller fish in there. I can't really identify them right now. They're a little too small to see. There's one in there that looks like another species of loach, but we'll just get him in the bucket again. We'll get them all out and see what actually we found in the dumpster over there. But this is really, this is a first for me. I see another bag back here. And I think I see another one in that back corner. And I think there's even another fish bag right down there. But also right here, guys, look at this. There's this massive box full of live hamster box. Boxes. Look at this. Optimal temperature range, 60 to 75 degrees. Now this definitely probably isn't a reptile box because a reptile, 60 to 75 would actually be very dangerous for them. So I don't know what all could have been in these boxes. I'm guessing a bunch of like hamsters and stuff, but I'm gonna keep looking through here. I did see, oh, there's another box right there. Hold on. So what is up with all these animal boxes? But I do see another fish bag right down here. Oh my God. Oh, there's a tortoise box down there. And there's so many bugs. This is, oh, oh. It's a blue lobster. Well, not a lobster, it's a craw. It's a nice blue crawfish right here, guys. Oh, that is beautiful. We definitely have a spot for him in the fish room. So we're gonna get him in the fish room real quick. Well, not in the fish room. We're in the dumpster, Robert. What am I talking about? Guys, it's late. We've been grinding hard. Get that bag right in there. And let's see what else we could find in the dumpster. So far, so good. There's a lot of stuff in here. I mean, I don't, oh God, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of live animal box. But I'm gonna start making my way over here because I think I did see a couple boxes or bags rather did something else just crunch i don't know for a second i thought i heard something else in here another huge box of fish another live animal box let's see oh i see a few boxes down in here i might as well just squat down to pick them up looks like we got some feeder goldfish a uh, little baby comet i mean we could throw these in the gulper tank i don't really know what else we would do with these regardless it's better than them being in the dumpster so i'm gonna put them to my right for right now and what is down here what is this Oh, oh, this looks like it's a little guppy. Oh, he's actually really pretty, guys. I don't know how well you could see him. He keeps swimming into the blind spot of the camera, but that's actually a pretty nice little guppy right there. So we'll get these guys out of the dumpster and we haven't even made it to the back. Oh, I see another bag back there, but we haven't even made it to the back of the dumpster. So again, I guess we'll drop in and we got a lot of sorting to do. We've already found pro how many bags of fish is that? I think probably like 10 bags of fish in the dumpster already, but let's see what else. Oh, there's, a, I think there's another bag right here oh there is oh wow <laughs> what this one just has a little snail in it huh well i mean regardless we'll pick it up and we'll keep it with us might as well can't hurt but right. we'll start making our way through this middle section i mean luckily for us today they have a bunch of just really big boxes and nothing much else going on in here so i'm gonna try to work my way in here make sure i don't step on any bags of fish or any live animals you know i've found snakes in here before i found all sorts of stuff in here before but we got another box or bag rather right here what are you Oh, just some more goldfish. Nothing crazy. I mean, actually, you know, typically this would be nothing crazy, but it's kind of wild that these fish are living in this dumpster right now. Somebody just dumped them in here. Must have been today when they were discarding all this trash, because if you look at the water, the water itself isn't too musty. It's a little musty. There's a little bit of fish waste in there, but it's nothing like insane, you know? Overall, they don't look too bad. But regardless, we'll just throw those guys in there. Let's see. How else am I going to... Look how many animal boxes there are. Now, I think these were definitely like some kind of rodents oh no these were live crickets live crickets what's in here what was in here i mean it's live crick oh my god no is this just a box full of crickets oh my god no wait are these all cricket boxes this one doesn't say what it was so this might have been a live animal I think those other ones were live crickets, but let's just keep moving this stuff to the side. I did already see, oh, there's another bag right here. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's a beautiful little Dalmatian self in Molly or balloon Molly rather. He's really cute. I think we'll definitely enjoy keeping this guy, whether or not we put him in the fish room or put him in the platy pond. I have yet to decide, but he's actually really cute. This guy right here is adorable. Oh my God. Oh my God. We have filled an entire bucket with fish bags from the dumpster. Oh my God. And I think there's still, I think I still saw a couple bags in here. So I'm going to move all this stuff to my side and keep working my way back here. See what I could do. Oh God. This is disgusting. Oh, yep. Yep. I see another bag. I really wish my GoPro was working so you guys could see like my point of view in here. But thankfully this dumpster is arguably one of the cleanest dumpsters I've been in. And it seems like this bag is yet another goldfish. So we'll just get him in the bucket i mean just a little goldfish nothing too crazy in this bag but i actually might as well put him right there and i'll keep working to the side Move this big bag of trash all right let's 
get this big old bag of crap. Oh, oh wait, Camera Girl has cats. They might actually like this. This is a little, pe you know, dude. But actually, this toy right here, we could keep for some of Camera Girl's pets. But let's see. Oh, there's a fish bag right here. Oh my God. Oh, no way. Dude, what the hell? Look at this. Oh my God. Oh, dude, there is an octopus in the dumpster. Oh my God. Wow, he is big. Oh my God. This is the first time I've ever found a saltwater fish in the dumpster. Dude, look at his fat little head. Oh, you see that? Oh, dude, okay, I don't want to stress it out. It's in the bag. And if we stress it out too much, it might ink and kill it. So definitely don't want that happening, but that is by far the most insane find I've ever found in the dumpster. I've never found anything saltwater before. This is a mixed store where they do freshwater and saltwater, which is part of the reason why I came to it. And that is by far the most insane thing we could have ever found. But the sketchy part is what do I do? do with it because my tanks are cycled at this point whether or not they're safe for an octopus though i don't know we're gonna have to get creative i could run to a store maybe and grab some supplies to try to make it octopus proof but it's gonna prove to be very difficult damn that's kind of like a blessing and a curse what should we name what should we name it Ralphie. you want to name it ralphie <laughs> I was thinking like Kraken or something, but Ralphie could work. Comment down below, guys, if we should name that octopus Ralphie. But we're almost done with this dumpster. I mean, this was definitely on the cleaner side, nothing too crazy. It's definitely on the cleaner side, nothing like too musty or dirty. So I'm kind of grateful for that because getting dirty isn't the best. Not very fun. I do see a lot of animal waste on this one as I'm saying that, but let's see if there's any more bags left in this corn. Oh my God, there's so many bugs. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. But I actually think that could have been the last bag. I just got to figure out how to get out of here at this point. <laughs> Help. Help. But we'll get everything we just pulled out of the dumpster and put into the bucket, into the bucket itself. Get them all out of the bags, get them on air and get them back to the house. And then once we're back at the house, we'll figure out what to do with everything. And I'm going to have to figure out how to set up this octopus and keep it alive. I've already got some ideas just now as I'm thinking about it, but we'll see what we could do back at the house. So right here, guys, we have everything we pulled out of the dumpster real quick. I'm just going to take everything out one by one and just set it to the side just in the time for the time being before we get everything in here. We got a ton of stuff out of this dumpster. I mean, so many fish bags right here. And I'm just going to rip them all open and get them added in. Now, this is a really cool find too. Don't sleep on the Pilates. You guys know I love them. I've got a ton of them, but I don't know. I don't know. A lot of these fish, like the weird little oddball, like community type fish, we could throw in the platy pond with the rest of them. But some of these bags are like blown up. We got this cool little loach right here that we'll get in the bucket. And the nice thing about this white bucket is I'm actually, we're actually going to be able to see everything really clearly. So I'm just going to dump them out right in there. So we got right now, we got the convict, a pleco and the loach right there. What kind of loach that is? I don't know. He's just some wiry little eel. Then we got this bag of some goldfish that we found. Oh, ew. Oh, this bag actually smells disgusting. Oh my God. How are you guys living in that? That smelled horrible, but we got some more goldfish right here. What's next? What's this? Oh, right. This is that blue crawfish. This thing is beautiful. Nice blue crawfish right here, guys. We'll get him in the keeper bucket. Boop, 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 boop. And the octopus, guys. I mean, it's the only thing salt water. I didn't bring any salt water because why would I? So he's going to just stay in his bag until we get him home. I'll try to drip acclimate him on a fast drip. But we got the next fish right here. We got a goldfish again. I don't know exactly what we're doing with these goldfish either. I mean, anything that's kind of like a feeder fish. We might honestly just throw. Oh, there's another goldfish. I don't act, I don't remember pulling this guy out. So I guess we have four goldfish, the blue crawfish, a pleco, a cichlid, and the loach right there. And we got this guy right here. We'll just get him in this tank right now. Boom. What else do we got? Oh, how many bags? I lost count. I wasn't actually counting. I think that's around 10 bags right there. We got this beautiful little tetra right here and his little milk water. Get him out. Dump him in there. Boom. So far, so good. I mean, everything looks pretty healthy, all things considered. We got a bag full of platies right here. I don't know if I have any of these colors yet, but we'll get a closer look at them once we get them somewhere. Maybe the platy pond, maybe somewhere else in the fish room. I'm not really too sure at the moment because my platy pond is full of super nice platies. And these honestly don't look all that great. Like this guy, like he's kind of dull. So I don't know if we'd mix him with the platy pond. We might find something else to do with him for the time being. Maybe set up something else, set him up elsewhere. We got a nice little snail right here. I don't know what kind of snail this is. Regardless, 
We'll take him out as well. Might as well keep it, you know, it's a free snail. Can't, can't go wrong with free. What are these? Oh yeah, and then these are some weird little smaller fish. So the one I do know is a yo-yo loach. I've caught them actually at some canals in the past, but these smaller fish, I don't know what these smaller fish are. So, I mean, we'll just get them in the keeper bucket. And this water is looking nastier. The more water I add into the bucket, you could see how nasty it actually is. When it's in the bag, it looks pretty clear. But when it's all together in this bucket, I mean, look at it. It's got like a brownish green hue to it. That is some filthy, dirty water. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Oh, this is actually a nice little guppy right here. This one, I'm kind of actually happy about finding. This one, I'm pretty excited about. Beautiful guppies. And I don't think I actually have any guppies right now. So that's a pretty cool find. Get him in here. Bow, 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 bow. Oop, there he goes. And I think we have one bag left for this. Wait, what's in this bag? Oh, this is the little Molly, the little balloon Molly. I actually love these guys. They're super cute and funny looking, but oh, this is stank, bro. This stinks. We'll get the little Molly right in there. And as far as the freshwater fish goes, I think that's everything. We did catch that octopus, which is saltwater, which is awesome. And I'm just gonna return the favor and throw these garbage bags in the dumpster. But right here is everything we pulled out of the dumpster minus the octopus so we'll get all these guys on air and back to the house we'll find somewhere for them i might honestly throw them all in the platy pond minus like the crawfish because the crawfish should eat the mollies and stuff everything else aside from the crawfish and the cichlid can go in the platy pond i mean maybe even the goldfish too just for jits and shiggles <laughs> oh and how can i forget what's that say i don't even know what that says but this recall i wonder why but i mean i'm sure it's good for fish bait so we'll hold on to this can't go wrong why'd they yeah why would they slash a hole in the bag? We probably shouldn't keep this. There's probably bugs all over this thing now. I didn't notice that it got slashed. I mean, fish bait, it's not a bad thing. Just keep it in the back of the truck. Yeah, facts. Yeah, we'll just keep it in the back of the truck. I'll put it in one of our coolers just so it doesn't make a mess. I mean, this is going to be raccoon food. I'm sure raccoons are going to be all over that, but we got our keeper bucket right here. We're going to get them on air and get them all back to the house and figure out what we're going to do with them. So as it stands right now, guys, we're pulling a water change off on the 60 gallon. Right now, it looks very dirty just because the water change itself is kicking around the substrate, but we're going to get the majority of the fish we caught into this tank right here. I threw a sponge filter on it as well to get it rolling. So it will clear up in the morning. And I've also figured out what we're going to be doing with that octopus we found in the dumpster. So we're going to cut open a water bottle punch a bunch of holes in it and then that way it's not going to be able to climb out or escape from the tank and i think i'll probably end up putting it into the 54 gallon reef tank i'm starting out and i'll dump a lot of bacteria in there just to make sure it's good and ready to go and i'll be able to support that octopus and then in the event that octopus inks it'll be a lot of water volume for that octopus to dissipate the ink and hopefully keep it alive just in the event you know it does something like that the 9.3 gallon would have been nicer for it but it's a lot less water for it as well so i might even get it into to the mantis shrimp tank too just because that way that tank's definitely cycled already no issues there but right now we're just gonna fill this tank up and then get all those fish in it except for the convict and the crayfish because those guys will be a little bit messy so what we're gonna do is guys is we're gonna just take this net right here dump everybody out into it and then i'll get the rest of the fish we don't want to add into this tank into the bucket so like this convict will separate and this crawfish will separate everybody else could go into this community tank but the rest of these fish right here we're gonna just dump in here and this tank's got air on it it's got the sponge filter it's super dirty looking right now just because uh we just did that fresh water change but by the morning time coming around these guys should all look fantastic and any mosquitoes that try to lay their eggs or larvae in here will get demolished but everybody's looking really good they should adjust great to this tank and i'll give you guys an update on them in the morning we'll make sure this netting is on here because if not you know the birds the birds will lay siege to these fish and i really don't want that to happen so i'm thinking this convict cichlid will put in the oscar tank now he should get along great we already have a few in here and he's gonna be the biggest one out of the group so we'll get him down right in there literally nobody's gonna be able to mess with him so he'll do great and then this crawfish right here probably gonna put in that bottom left tank where i have that pvc pipe because nothing's been in that tank so this guy will do just fine in there and all the beta fish guys if you're wondering are still doing great i'm having an update video coming out soon but we'll just get him in here and he'll do fine so 
right here guys we got the bottle all drilled up i got drills in every level of this and several holes in each side holes in the bottom and holes in this top lid now i believe these holes are small enough that his beak won't pass through here so it should be safe it should be good and we're just going to drop this in the tank with him inside the bottle and for the time being that's how we're going to do it until i come up with a better solution for this octopus but this is a pretty fail proof method i might even try to like super glue this lid for the time being because low-key he might be able to twist that off i'm not gonna lie he might be able to but regardless we're gonna try to get him in there i'm gonna clean this out and see how it goes right here guys we have the bag with the octopus and i'm trying to think about the best way to go about it right now he's actually blending in with the sand so do you think i could pick it up without him attacking me I don't know. I don't know if I want to get bit by an octopus right now. So what I might do is, guys, we're going to grab a little net and net them out and hope for the best. So what we're going to try to do is, Camera Girl had a great idea. I was going to try to net him out, but she said, what if we try to let him climb into it? So we'll try to do that real quick. I don't think he wants any part of this. Oh. Oh, he's coming in. Nah, he doesn't want it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this net. I'm going to net him out. Hopefully it goes well. I mean, at the end of the day, it is an octopus. Come on, Ralphie. Okay, he jumped into the net. Now we have an octopus on... Oh, you see that? He just picked up the net. This is kind of a small hole we're dealing with here. But I might be able to... If I feel like if I get his head in, he'll go in. Oh, he's in. He's in. He's in. Oh, that worked like a charm. So now we have a pet octopus. I've never kept anything like this before. I'm hoping this little bottle strategy is enough. And the way, I'm gonna just slowly let this sink in on its own time. But first we'll get some water in there for Ralphie. Oh my God, isn't that crazy looking? I get some more water in there. Look at that. Oh my God, that is crazy. So I'll leave it like that. He'll be able to go into the water if he pleases. If he doesn't feel like going in quite yet, he'll be good. Oh, 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 he's on the move. Oh, Ralphie's on the move. <laughs> I really think he might be able to open the lid. I'm going to be honest. Oh my God. Well, <laughs> Ralphie is in the bottle and it looks like the bottle is going under. Down to the seas you go. I think he, could, he might be able to get out of this. That lid, I'm not too confident in, but we'll let him chill in there. It's gonna flop around a little bit. He's just trying to figure out his new little territory right now. And I'm gonna get the lights on this tank as well and get them on a schedule, but yeah. Ralphie is in his new little enclosure. Damn, I really don't know if he'll be able to escape. You'll see right now. Yeah, let's see what he does. Yeah, he's just kind of hanging out. So Ralphie's just kind of hanging out right now. He's all bottled up. He's just getting adjusted to his new spot. So hopefully he doesn't escape from this. But that is it for today's video, guys. Please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications if you did enjoy this tonight's episode of Dumpster Diving. An absolutely insane find. Oh no, don't go by the lid, buddy. If he gets out of this, that is an issue. <laughs> that is an issue. Because uh, this whole scape is mortared in. So then he's just going to be a free range octopus but i hope you guys enjoyed i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces